Hello and a big warm welcome to the Skillful Mind family. I want to thank you so much for deciding to join us here in helping create more meditation groups all over the world. So the first thing I want to say is if ever you have any questions, feel free to reach out either to me or on our Facebook page, etc., to all of our team members. We're all here motivated by the same thing to help grow meditation in the world. And so if we can help you, we absolutely will. But in order to start to kick you off, um, a couple of things that you can do right now. First of all, down below, you'll see a button to a uh, induction uh, catch up with me uh, for some day in the future. It changes uh, depending on when I'm available and when you see this. But go ahead and just click a time that suits you. Um, I've got a couple, I usually do a couple, one in the evening my time and then the morning, so that wherever you are in the world, uh, hopefully that should work for you. And we can catch up and the main thing is for me to just, uh, you know, give you a bit of an induction about what you're going to be learning, show you around what we offer, and also give you a chance to ask us particular questions. Um, another thing is for those people that like buddies, uh, we found that works really well, so we'll try to pair you up as well if you're uh, feeling that that might help you grow your class. So do that now. So click on that button as you listen to this. I think the video should keep going. <laughs> And then the second thing is to go through to our members area. Now, once you're through to our members area, uh, you'll see that there are several sections. Now, uh, two or three of them are lot unlocked, which is the ones that you have uh, purchased. Um, one thing that I should know is there are a couple of uh, ones that are locked for various reasons. A couple is uh, because I also have another area to my business, which is NLP training. And, but I've com because a lot of people do the both of them, I've just put them in one um, area. Um, another one is uh, for helping you expand into corporate area, that sort of thing, which is free, but you'll see um, uh, if you want more information about that, you can click on that and, and see that. So uh, if you're having problems with um, logging in, a few people do because they mistype the password or something like that. I'll uh, just show you that now. So let's go over now to actually how we log in and I'll just hopefully preempt any um, uh, questions you might have about logging into the members area. Okay, thanks again and let's go over to where we log in. Hey, it's Peter here on just some uh, issues with potentially logging in. Um, I've had a number of uh, people uh, write back to me and say they're having trouble logging into the website. And um, so a couple of things just to look out for. Here's uh, one person, Andrea, uh, logging in. I've actually just changed her password a little bit so that it's not the valid password. Um, but in any case, I'll give you an example of how it goes. Um, first of all, you can see here there's a O and another O. Make sure that these are, you're checking that they're either O's or zeros. So if it doesn't work with an O, try zero. This one here particularly could be a capital O or a zero. So try both of those. Likewise, this L here could be a one or an L. So just double check when you're typing your password in that if you've got L's and zeros that you're, you're getting the right one and not the number because there are numbers in these um, passwords as well. The next thing is if you cut and paste it, sometimes people cut and paste it with a space on the front or the back. So if you do control C, when you paste it into here, then uh, you'll actually be pasting a space and that will cause you an error as well. And that can happen both on the password, but also uh, on the, um, the email, if you paste a space in with the email. And then the final thing to look out for is many of us nowadays have these autofill features. And so you can type your name in and you can sort of type the password in. And sometimes the autofill goes and backfills the incorrect password. 
uh, particularly if you've typed the password in wrong once, uh, it'll kind of remember that and, and still try to put that wrong password in. So there are three things just to be careful of when you're logging into the Skillful Mind portal. And if you're having problems, uh, please check those three things first and then contact me and I'll double check. But I've, I've had four or five people tell me that they can't log in recently and it's, and it's because they're not entering the password correctly. So I thought I'd just make this video. Okay, thanks.